It is Meredith from Coulter and Meredith on 102.1 The Edge. So happy to be joined uh, virtually, I guess, uh, by Drew and Danielle of Deer Rouge. How are you guys doing? We're good. How are you? Oh, we're doing okay. You know, I, I say this to everybody. I'm like, we're all just doing our best. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to say it. But you guys actually are doing your best. Uh, congratulations on the brand new album, Spirit. It is out now. I've seen the billboards in the city. I mean, this is huge for you guys. Yeah, it's we are. It's very exciting. We're happy to finally have new music in the world. It's taken it's taken a while. It's uh, we've been through a gauntlet, but it's it's so meaningful. The steps to get here have been arduous and 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 deep and exciting, beautiful, all the words and the album being called Spirit, it all just makes so much sense and we're proud of it. So you recorded this album not in a big busy city you guys kind of found a little quiet oasis in the middle of nowhere and that's where you ended up putting it together what led you to that choice and, and what kind of differences do you think that it made on spirit we kind of you know with the pandemic and at the time we were exiting vancouver into the the cabin scene outside as a lot of people were taking the pandemic to go back to their hometowns and um figure out a new way of living kind of thing there like there wasn't much to do so we had nature and it really had a big effect on the album of like who we are time with ourselves um everything slowed down really really being like introspective of who we are as people mm -hmm. and wanting to make a really sincere record essentially and like visually we ended up doing so much just locally with like local uh friends and in our house and in the lake and just like used what was around us to to shape what we were making in full so even like the sounds and like the organic side of the album we were definitely influenced by just stripping everything away mm -hmm. i would be remiss if i didn't talk about some of the live shows that you guys have coming up as well how good does it feel to kind of after doing an album secluded, you know, like out in the wilderness and then the seclusion of the pandemic to be having a summer where you're just back out there in the thick of it again. Feels amazing. It is super <laughs> exciting. The funny thing is, is we we haven't even announced half of the shows we're playing this year. I figured as much because I, I saw the list and I was like, this can't be all of them, but, uh, but I'm like, like, we're we, going we, for it, girl. Yeah, there's, there's... <laughs> but we're stoked and, um, and definitely come out to any show you want. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be like, by the end Buzzing. of the summer, I'm going to be exhausted and I can't wait to feel like that. <laughs> that's like my vibe. Yeah. That's well, we can't wait to see you. We got a couple here in Toronto. I know, like I said, opening for Vance Joy at Bud Stage. Then you guys are going to be at Tall Pines, which we are yeah. all going to be at as well. It's going, to, it's going to be amazing. The brand new album, so Spirit, it is out now. Go get it. Thank you Woo! so much. Oh, thank you so much. Bye, Take Meredith. care. We'll talk right. to you soon. See you later.